Hey cuties, I'm Lanikia and you're watching what happened on the soaps. This is General Hospital Edition. Um, all right, let's get right into it. On a scale of one to ten, it was a solid episode. It pushed the soap along, which is, you know, that's all you can ask for. It was a seven. Um, let's see, where do we start? Okay, so we see we see Anna Elizabeth and Laura Elizabeth. We see uh Laura um Alexis and Anna sitting, you know, sitting around at the Metro Talk court talking and everything and you know they're talking about their love life and then they say oh we're so happy that Anna didn't get voted out as mayor I said that was a real episode I'm gonna have to go back and watch it because I ain't watching I'm not gonna lie I thought it was just like this special episode you know it was a one-off or something but apparently that's gonna keep going um or whatever um so anyways, so we see them talking about how they're glad that the community came together and helped Anna, I mean, excuse me, Laura stay um, mayor. And so then um, they start talking about their love life and Alexis is like, it's okay to be alone and, you know, you can be happy because um, Laura said she's so glad to have, you know, the kids kids in the house. It's so much full of life and love, but she's also very happy that she has um, uh Kevin to help her with this. So then Alexis is like, you know what? I'm going to go and um, enjoy the pool and everything. I'm going to catch up with y'all later. And they're like, okay, I'm not going to hold you long on this. So then we see Laura and Anna talk and she speaks about Valentine and she says, tell me, you know, about Valentine and your relationship. And she says that Valentine has been different since he was at the um, clinic in, or the hospital. Um, the, I think they call it the clinic though. And she said, is that good or bad? And then um, Anna, she didn't respond to her at that time. And she says, Anna, I feel like you're ignoring the signs. And Anna says, it's because I know Valentine and she knows the danger he comes with. And, you know, she just knows the toxicity of it all. And she's comfortable in it. I said, girl, this is not good. <laughs> Laura said, girl, you should see some red flags going off. This is not good. And she said, Robert told her to be careful as well. Um, so she likes Valentine. But she also is cautious of Valentine. But even being cautious, she still wants to be around. I said, "Girl, that that that's what we call red flags. Like, and you're you're ignoring those red flags and getting in a relationship with this man, who I think Val uh, Valentine does like her. Um, but you 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 deserve better than this. What what's what's going on, Mom? And so, but anyway, so she does tell Laura that." When he came back, um, he's good and bad. You know, when he's with her, he's focused and everything. But they don't like how much he is, con you know, building this relationship with Victor. So, so speaking of Valentine, we do see that um, he's talking to Victor. And so Victor gives him a ring and everything for him to wear ahead of the family as being, you know, part and head of the family. And we find out from Valentine that he don't want to help Victor, that the only reason he's helping Victor is because Victor has Charlotte in a boarding school and Valentine cannot get to her. He, Victor is the only person that can withdraw her, that can physically go see her. All Vic, Valentine can do is talk to her and everything. And Victor said, Valentine said he didn't want to help Victor anymore. And he says that would be unfortunate for Charlotte. And Valentine was like, don't you ever threaten my child again because I cut your throat and I, I stop all this or whatever. And he said, spoken like a true Castanet. I said, oh, oh, Victor, real evil. <laughs> I'm like, because uh, to be quite honest, all his plans are messed up and and everything, everything he plans always gets messed up. And they never really go into what he's doing. So it's like, it, I, I'm not going to lie. It was almost like Victor was a joke. But when Valentine started saying that he's doing all that and he's pretty much forcing Valentine to help by holding Charlotte. He was like, Charlotte is kidnapped and she don't even know it. Um, I said, oh, oh, well, that's why Valentine is doing all this. Now, I feel like Valentine should tell Anna and them this because they could try to help him and everything so i mean you know it's the soap they're gonna make it more complicated than what it has to be or whatever so but anyways valentine tells victor that laura is planning on getting him deported and he wants valentine because he you know he got the information from martin and he wants valentine to uh help him not get deported now i see why um valentine told victor this information because he's like i have to have access to charlotte or whatever but 
don't know, child. It is what it is. Uh, Victor is just one evil man. God dang. And so, anyways, so then, you know, he tells Valentina, I'm going to need you to help me, you know, make sure, Laura, this doesn't go through with Laura. So then we see that, you know, Valentina is walking backwards into the Metro Court. I guess he, I don't know if he look, I don't know what he's doing. And then he sees Laura and he was like, got a minute. So he wants to sit down with Laura. And then we see Anna looking around. Uh, for some reason, she didn't look um, behind her or to her side. And she's on the phone talking about, I need to speak about one of your patients, Valentine. And Victor is there listening or whatever. And that is it with them, y'all. So then we see, um, who do we go to? We see Ned and Brooklyn. So Ned, Brooklyn comes in from running and Ned says, you want to talk about it? And she said, no, you voted against Drew and Michael. He said, I'm not talking about that. You know, my vote is my vote. My vote is my vote. He said, I'm talking about uh, what's bothering you about Chase. And she said, hey, it does not bother me. He was like, Brooklyn, yes it is. You, cause you like Chase. And she says, I, I, he, so she tells him everything that she did. And he said, see, we're a lot alike. He said, because that's exactly Olivia is upset like Chase was because she said that I made that decision decision on ELQ without consulting her with, you know, giving her, letting her have some input, making the decision with her. And he said, same thing you did with Chase. And she was like, yeah. And she said, well, I didn't ask him to defend me and, and all this kind of stuff. And he was like, because she was like, Chase don't like me like that. And he was like, girl, yes, he does. Any man that's done lost his job. He, she said, he was like, I know he done got suspended again. And any man that has lost his job twice like that, it's for like over the same person. He likes them or whatever. And so she tells him about wanting to make him a star and all that. And so she said, my songs, you know, I wrote for Valentine. I mean, Valentine for Lynx um, and everything. I wake up thinking about him and, you know, in my head and, and all that kind of stuff. And she knows she could help Chase and which would help herself. He said, but I'm sure Chase saw it as you just trying to help yourself because you didn't let him in on the plan. She was like, you right. And so then he tells her Leo posted about chase singing and it had over fifty thousand likes and everything she said man i i'm i did a good job i'm talented and he says uh, brooklyn nobody does this alone he said at the end of the day you wrote the song chase had to sing it and then leo had to promote it you know put it on put it out there he was like it takes a team so stop just trying to go at this alone or whatever and she was like, okay. And he said, no. Nah. She was like, well, let me go and get dressed and everything so I can go find Chase. Now, Chase is at the pool and a, and a pretty girl flirting with him. And he only, baby, they said, Gregory and Finn saw it. And they said, you got a bad. You don't even know when a woman flirting with you. And he said, no, nah, I don't got a bad for nobody. And they was like, Chase, um, <clears throat> you're in trouble again because of Brooklyn and everything. You say you don't have a bad? So he starts telling them that they want her, and she wants him to be a pop star, and it's all about her, and you know everything going on with links and all that. And and Gregory was me. So what's so bad about you being a pop star? That you know they were like you sang the song with you know passion. He that was like, why can't you go another route? He said, because I'm a cop and everything. And they just tell him, keep an open mind when it comes to Brooklyn, you know, because they're like she cares about you. And, um, then he makes a remark to Finn about Elizabeth and, you know, then they be about, you know, why instead of worrying about him, he should worry about Elizabeth and getting, you know, feedback from her. And, and, you know, they apologize and they talk about how, you know, they weren't in each other's lives and now they are. And, you know, it's nice to have family and stop. So they're not going to argue and, and, and be rude and foul and mean to each other. And all of that. Um, focus, Nikki. I'm sorry. <laughs> so let's go. Um, so they're gonna not gonna be mean and rude to each other and all of that. Um, you know what? It wasn't that the episode was boring because it was a solid episode. It was just it was too many of like B players on one episode. I guess that's what it is. Um, so, anyways, so they're like, we're not gonna even focus on you know that part. Just focus on being nice to each other and not focus on the, uh, you know, the past or whatever. We move forward. And so anyways, Gregory sees Alexis, right? And so he like, y'all two keep talking. I'll be back. So he go over there. Uh, he goes over there with Alexis. And then Chase and Finn continue to talk. And Finn just tells 
Chase, you know, be open to Brooklyn. You know, I would her being your manager, that's not that's you know, it's not so far fetched or whatever. She's very talented. And then Chase tells him, like, stop beating around the bush, just go be direct with Elizabeth. He said, you know what, that's not bad advice. So then Finn leaves and Chase enjoys the pool side. And so then we see um, while he's enjoying the poolside, the girl waves at him that had flirted with him earlier. He waves back or whatever. But then he calls Brooklyn and they both say, you know, he's like, we need to talk. And she said, yeah, no time like the present. And he looked back because she's made it to the pool. I don't know who be doing Brooklyn's makeup and hair, but girl is gorgeous. Right. OK, so then we see Alexis and Gregory talking. Right. And um, she says, oh, I see you didn't take up my. Um my challenge to do an open end and he says he trying to tell her that he did but alexis you know she was that lawyer in her so she just going forward and then she said but i don't want to take up your time because i see you was with your boys that's when they was all together and he was like no they you know he, he cool talking to her and then finally she gets a text i'm not gonna hold you long on this i told you but finally she gets a text message and he did accept her challenge or whatever and he he wrote the the um op end and everything um and and honestly that's all i can remember <laughs> i can't remember no more about what happened with them but you know what i'm gonna tell you they have chemistry y'all might not like uh nancy lee graham because a lot of y'all don't but she and gregory have chemistry and i don't mind seeing them uh together you know as, as forming this romance that they are forming all right so then we see we go to go to Elizabeth. So Elizabeth is at the, you know, she's still at the, um, getting help at the, the clinic and everything. And Kevin comes in. He says, I have somebody here to see you. She said, I don't want to see Finn. And she said, and I love Laura, but I don't want to see her today either. <laughs> that tickled me. He said, no, it's somebody else. And so uh, then what's uh, Jake comes in. and But Jake tells his mama, come home. And she's like, is it Jake or Aiden? It was Jake, wasn't it? She, um, he tells his no, it was Aiden. Y'all, you know, when the middle child came to see his mama, and she he tell her, "Come on home, mama." And she says, "Um, hold on, child, because I might have it written down." And she, yeah, it was Jake. And she says, "You know, I'm still trying to get help." And he says, "You know, she was like, all, all these people are trying to help me, and you're you got to lean on support from your family and stuff." He said, "What about our grandparents?" So she finds out that the grandparents had emailed Jake again, and she says, "You cannot talk to them unless you talk go through me. Let me know if they contact you again. Did you tell them about what's going on?" He was like, "No, I would never do that or whatever." But she just tells him, I want to come home, but I need to make sure I'm good when I come home. And he understands. So he leaves because Kevin says, I need to talk to your mom. So he leaves down, goes down with Kevin and Kevin comes back up and he's talking to Elizabeth. And she says, right now, um, she wants to get help. And and her Aiden is in a vulnerable state. And um, and he said, Were you, like you? And she said, what do you mean? Or whatever. And he was like, so, you know, she said, my parents left. When I was a teenager, they dropped me off at my grams. And when I didn't act or do a, what they wanted, they never looked back for me or whatever. And I said, clearly something happened to Elizabeth. And Kevin is trying, he's trying to get her to talk about it, but not being pushy and everything. And, uh, but Elizabeth's just like, I'm tired of talking about my parents and everything. So she throws the puzzle and it's like, what's going on? And he was like, I know I'm glad to see. She was like, I'm sorry, Kevin. He, she, he was like, no, I'm glad to see this. Um, side of you and everything and so he was like let me help you and she was like you want to help me um do you really want to help me he said yes and then finn come busting in he says kevin i need to speak to elizabeth i'm not gonna hold you long and go into all the you know he just says kevin i need to speak to elizabeth and kevin said i'm sorry finn elizabeth gone and i said oh my gosh so now we're gonna have, like when is this gonna end when is this gonna end this started so long ago that when we saw the Elizabeth today, I said, dang, I forgot old girl. You know, I forgot she was gone. And when are we going to get to the root of this? Like, y'all, that was General Hospital today. If I missed anything, charge that to my head and not to my heart. Y'all know they say that at church, right? Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Even if you don't subscribe, that's okay. I'll still be doing these videos, but hit that like button for me. Let me go watch days. All right. Bye.